hat looks stupid. Hi there, I'm Justin Pritchard, and that is, of course, the all-new Kia Stinger. And here's what you need to know about 50,000 Canadian dollars as tested, fully loaded in GT Limited trim with 365 twin turbocharged horsepower. I think I've discovered a few sort of obscure secret talents about this car, which I'll get into in a moment, but right now, can we just take a second to appreciate what a gorgeous looking machine this is. So even if you recognize a lot of these styling cues from elsewhere, or maybe you call the Stinger a Maserati, like me, it remains that this is a car that is not done justice by photos and video, and if you think it looks good on your screen, you've got to go check one out in real life. Heck, even the key is beautiful, like who does a key fob, seriously? It's mid-January in Northern Ontario, so much of my driving has looked like this, and now even after a thousand or so kilometers at the wheel of the Stinger, what's still standing out to me from where and how I've been driving is what a champ this thing is in the snow. I've driven any number of crossover SUVs that weren't even this stable and confidence inspiring in bad conditions, so all said, this one does a really good job of leaving you feeling backed right up in lousy weather. If you want the full scoop on that, check out my full review, video review, and photo gallery as well. So over to the Kia Stinger's top two hidden talents. And the first of these is the headlights, which are easily top 10 amongst the best I've ever used, and there have been hundreds. Here's some footage, and what I like first is the color of the light, clean and white and easy on the eyes. And the business area, that is the area in front of the car where you want the most light to be, well, if you look, notice that the light thickly and evenly covers that area. No splotches or dark spots, and that means a more consistent lighting output over a bigger area. Plus, I've got good peripheral illumination down into the forest and culverts in case maybe a Sasquatch decides to run across the road. All said, even after hours at the wheel and at night, your eyes are still fresh and alert because they're not straining for hours on end, and that's a safety thing as much as a comfort thing. And the second sort of hidden talent is the paddle shifting mode for this 8-speed automatic, which is right now the only transmission offering. Here's some footage. The response is an instant, there's a touch of a delay, but then the shift itself is clean and fast, rev matched nicely in both directions too, and I'd rather a manual myself, actually on a sadness scale between one and making fun of cowboy boots in front of a Luke Bryan fan on like a definite nine, but actually this paddle shift mode is entertaining enough to maybe fill in a little. That's all I've got for now, if you're interested this is definitely a car that you will want to check out. Thanks for watching.